Welcome to the training video on knowing the Brunei Darussalam Accounting Standards through BDAS 10, Provisions, Contingent Liabilities, and Contingent Assets. My name is Fatin from Dynamic Technologies and I will be your vocal guide for today. Let's get straight into the details of each module under BDAS 10. The first module under BDAS 10 is called Provisions. A provision should be recognized when the following are met. Number 1. An entity has a present obligation as a result of a past event. Number 2. An outflow of resources embodying economic benefits which will be required to settle the obligation. And number 3. A reliable estimate can be made of the amount of the obligation. If these conditions are not met, no provision should be recognized. To further understand the model provisions, let's go through a scenario sample as shown. Power Sindri and Burhat company sales amounted to $10 million out of which $1 million remained outstanding at the year end. The company decided to expense out $200,000 of uncollectible accounts directly. Based on past experience, Power Sindri and Burhat estimated that 5% of its receivables will default. Provision for doubtful debts on 31st December 2013 was $10,000. From here, we can extract the accounting entries as debit the bad debt expense with $10,000 and credit the provision for bad debt account with the same amount. This is a journal entry transaction. A completed draft of the journal entry transaction for BDES 10 provision will look like this. Do note the journal ID for future reference. Next is BDES 10.2 Contingent Liabilities, where it depends on the outcome of an uncertain future event. Lawsuit is common examples of contingent liabilities because outcome is uncertain. To record the contingent liability, let's assume the following scenario. After a wedding in 2010, 10 people died, possibly as a result of food poisoning from products sold by the entity. Legal proceedings are underway seeking damages from the entity, but it argues its accountability. Up to date of approval of the financial statements for the year to 31st December 2010 for issue, the entity's lawyers advise that it is probable that the entity will not be found accountable. The legal expense is $100,000. Accounting entries are such that debit the legal expense with $100,000 and credit the contingent liabilities with the same amount. Now let's see how this entry is being drafted in Accounting Plus. A complete draft of the journal entry transaction will look like this. Do note the journal ID created from the system for future reference. Moving on to BDES 10.3 is to record contingent asset. It is defined as a potential economic benefit dependent solely on future events that can't be controlled by the company. However, due to the uncertainty of the future events, these assets are not recognized in the financial statements. Contingent assets are disclosed in the financial statements and the notes to the financial statements are not reported at all. If you need more help guidance or a demo on how to get started, we will be more than pleased to assist you. You may contact us with the following details as shown. Thank you for watching the course video for BDES 10, Provision, Contingent Liabilities, Contingent Assets.